In this video, we're going to talk about the noble gases. The noble gases are found on the right side of the periodic table, and it includes gases like helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. The gases are found in group 8A, or group 18, of the periodic table. Now, these gases are fairly non-reactive. They're chemically inert for the most part. Some of them, however, can participate in reactions. Like krypton and xenon, they can form stable compounds with very reactive elements like fluorine. And we'll talk more about that later. But for the most part, they're chemically inert. They don't really want to react. They're fairly stable. And this is because their outer energy levels are filled with electrons. Helium has two valence electrons. Neon has eight valence electrons. Argon, krypton, the rest, they also have eight valence electrons as well. But their outermost energy level is filled with electrons. And that explains the unusual stability that this group of elements have. Now, as you go down the group, the boiling point of the noble gases increases. The atomic radius increases as well. Helium has a boiling point of around negative 270, and this is in Celsius. For neon, it's negative 246. Argon, negative 186. Krypton, is negative 153, xenon negative 107, and radon negative 62. So those are the boiling points of the gases. As you go down, as the atom becomes bigger, as uh, the atoms gain more electrons, their boiling point goes up. The only forces acting on these atoms are LDF, Leninist version of forces. Now, as you go down the group, the density of these atoms increases as well. Xenon has a higher density than neon. Now, these elements are monoatomic. They exist as single atoms. So helium is monoatomic. We don't have diatomic helium. Helium exists just as a single atom. The halogens, for instance, they are diatomic. So elements like fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, all of these halogens, they're diatomic. They're composed, they're molecules composed of two atoms, whereas the noble gases, they're monoatomic. They're composed of just atoms instead of molecules. Ozone which is an allotrope of oxygen. This is oxygen gas. Ozone is a molecule with three atoms. I guess you could say it's triatomic. Now let's talk about some of the reactions of noble gases. Xenon gas can react with fluorine. Xenon doesn't react with most elements, but Fluorine is extremely reactive. It's one of the most reactive elements out there. It's strong enough to react with the stable xenon gas. And it could produce this compound, xenon tetrafluoride, which is a solid. It can also produce other compounds like xenon hexafluoride. Xenon hexafluoride can react with water. to produce xenon trioxide and hydrofluoric acid. Krypton can also react with fluorine to make this compound, krypton difluoride. So the noble gases, for the most part, they're not truly inert. They can react, but 
Not all of them react, though. For the most part, they're fairly unreactive. It takes a very reactive compound, I mean, a very reactive molecule like fluorine to get them to participate in chemical reactions. Now, let's talk about some of the properties of the noble gases. Helium, you've seen it in helium balloons. Helium is lighter than air, so when you fill up a balloon with helium, those are the balloons that will rise. If you just blow regular air into a balloon, it's going to fall to the ground. But if you put helium in a balloon, because it's less dense than air, it's going to uh, rise up. Neon, you've seen this in uh, neon lights. That's what you know. this element is typically used for. Argon, argon is found in air, about 0.9 to 1% to 1% of air consists of argon. Argon is also used in incandescent light bulbs. So here's an incandescent light bulb with a tungsten filament. To prevent the heated tungsten element from reacting with air, this bulb is typically filled with argon. Now, krypton could do the same thing. It can provide a non-corrosive environment, just like argon. And we've seen xenon, how it can react with uh, fluorine. The last one we need to talk about is radon. Radon is a radioactive noble gas. It is produced from nuclear decay of, you know, other radioactive elements like uranium. Now, radon, it comes from the ground, and it can seep into your basement, into your houses, and it can accumulate over time. This is why it's always good to open the windows of your home and allow fresh air to flow inside your house. Otherwise, the concentration of radon can build slowly over time, and that could be hazardous to your health. So that's it for this video. Hopefully, it gave you a good introduction into group 8a of the periodic table, the noble gases. Thanks for watching.